Welcome to Electron Online and now for something a little more challenging we have another nonlinear inequality and we're looking for the values of x which make that inequality uh, the left side less than zero. Okay how do we do that? Well first we write the equivalent equation so we write the quantity x times x minus 2 quantity squared times x minus 3 equal to zero. Now we're looking for the values of x that make the left side equal to zero, which are the critical points on the number line to solve, to look for the regions that satisfy that inequality. So here we can see that we multiply this times this times this, we get zero. Therefore, either x must equal zero or x minus two must equal zero or x must equal or, whoop, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, or x minus three must equal zero. All right, now based upon that, let's solve for x. So this is already one solution. Here we can say that x must therefore equal 2, and there we can say that x must equal 3. So those are the three values for x that will make the left side equal to 0, which are the critical points, the points that define the boundary between the regions that satisfy and the regions that do not satisfy the inequality. All right, so let's put those on the number line. So we have x equals 0 right here x equals 2 and x equals 3 and those are therefore the three critical points and notice those three points are not included in the solution because we don't have an equal symbol there. So now we have four regions. We have region number 1, region number 2, region number 3 and region number 4. We want to find the test points in each of the four regions. For example, negative 1, 1, maybe 2.5 and four. So those are the four points that we're going to plug in to the inequality to see if that satisfies inequality. If it does, if one of those points does satisfy the inequality, that means all the points in that region will satisfy the inequality. Starting with negative one. Okay, if, ne if we plug a negative one in there, we get a negative number. Here we plug a negative one in there. Negative one minus two is a negative number, but we're squaring that, so we have to go and represent that with two negative numbers. The reason why when I plug in a negative one there I get a negative number I have to do that twice because this really says x minus two times x minus two. So we have to count for it twice. And then if we plug a negative one in there minus three is negative four that's also a negative number. So we have four negatives multiplied together question mark is that less than zero? And the answer is no because four negatives multiplied together give me a positive number therefore this is not less than zero it does not satisfy the inequality which means region one is not part of our solution all right let's go for the next sample point the positive one if we put a positive one there we get a positive number there positive one there we get a negative number we have to count for it twice and finally we put a one in there uh, 1 minus 3 is a negative number, so we have a negative number. And is that question mark equal or less than 0? The answer is here we're multiplying three negatives together. Three negatives multiplied together give me a negative number, which is less than 0. So yes, it does satisfy the inequality, which means any region between 0 and 2 satisfies the inequality. So that's part of the solution. Okay, a third test point, 2.5. We plug 2.5 in there, we get a positive number. We plug 2.5 in there, 2.5 minus 2. Well, that's a positive number. We have to count for it twice because it's squared. And 2.5 minus 3 is a negative number. Notice a positive times a positive times a positive times a negative number. Is that less than 0? Question mark. And the answer is yes. Because anytime we have one negative number multiplied with a bunch of positive numbers, we get a negative result. A negative result means it's less than zero, which means it does satisfy the inequality, which means any point between those two points satisfy the inequality. Now finally we test for region number four. We plug in the number four. That becomes positive. Plug a four in here, four minus two, that's a positive. We have to count for it twice. And we plug a four in there, four minus three is also a positive number. And the question mark, is that multiplied together less than zero? And of course, you get a positive result on the left side that's always bigger than zero, not less than. So the answer is no, it does not satisfy the inequality. So this region is not part of the solution. So what that means is that any number between zero and, zero and two, so we can say zero 
is less than x, which is less than 2, and 2 is less than x, which is less than 3. Those are the two regions that satisfy the inequality, and therefore that is the final solution for that problem. And that's how we do that.